Hadouken Falcon! Punch! Hey guys, I'm Phil. I'm Doug. And we're back. We healed up. Yep. <laughs> so Moonside is weird. So Moonside is very difficult to... Don't talk to those guys. Because they're the warping men. Oh. And they'll start warping you. Yeah. Yeah. So, so we, we're going to have to follow like kind of specific directions to get out of here without wasting your guys' time. And, you know, our own. surviving. <laughs> yes, that too. Uh, we're on the way to the, the hotel anyways, which we're assuming you can rest at. I, I believe you can. Because, I mean... Uh, otherwise, um, we may need to grind. <laughs> yeah. Well, hell, I mean, when we died and we just continued, we started at Moonside. So mm -hmm. imagine if this is where you could get to and that was it. And there's no way to heal, so... Yep. Mind you, like I said, there's also parts of this game where you can screw your save up, so... Oh, I know! Okay, we got One fight. Yeah. And that killed a teddy bear, too. It did. The teddy bears aren't helping as much as we thought, only because all the things are hitting everyone. Yeah. So that doesn't help. So yeah, don't don't talk to these guys. I'm not even sure if, like, if you bump into them, you'll be fine. These guys should be... Okay. No, um... Go to the hotel first, just to make sure. Here's the phone. Did you call mom recently? Yeah, there we go. Alright, okay. So, what about you? Say no. <laughs> it works! Yeah, I like, I like that even the stores and stuff, like, do it too. Yeah, that was creepy, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I like that they get confused with yeah. the rules. <laughs> wow. Okay. What about you? What do you want? Oh, and there we have our basic healing items. Yeah. Alright. I'll just say it. You know what would be fun is if they had, if your father calls you here, no one yes servers. Yeah, yeah. Hey, right, where am I going? All right, talk to one of these guys. Probably that that Hawaiian guy down there. The warping man. What? This guy? Yeah. Okay. I don't think he looks Hawaiian to me. See, that's that's so he's a warping man. Yeah. Um. That brings you. Uh, to three. What? Talk to this guy. Okay, so we have to find the guy with the, the eyebrows. Um, yeah, um, what the hell? This didn't bring me where I thought I was going to go at all. Alright, I will explore then. Yeah, might as well. Because I know where we are, I just need to know where, where we can get around with things. I guess it's kind of backwards from their, like, maximum digit. Oh, go to the left? Okay. Up, yeah, just go up there. And I'm, um, because we, I don't know. Because I don't want to walk around pointlessly too much because we'll get our clocks turned. Definitely. But I mean, the next the next guy to. It's 5 o'clock. Go to F. I have to see. My God. What? I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> I think you're so funny. I do. Okay. I'm correct. All right, where are we going? We keep going up to the left. Like, cool. kind of, you're kind of going around this building. Okay. At least I'm hoping. Fighting one at a time is not too, too bad. No, it's not the worst. Uh, some enemies are harder than others, too. Yeah. It's also weird that they're like some of them are fires on the world map. Yeah. It's kind of creepy. There we go. Now go down. If heal after this, there's also a butterfly up there I saw. Well, and maybe not like directly after this, but you know what I mean. Yeah. I don't know that I want to chase a butterfly because yeah. the risk is you get in more fights. Yeah, that's true. And here, that can be really bad. Very true. As long as we're fighting them one by one, which is what seems to be happening, it won't... He oh. Oh, nice. Okay, good. And the pump's easy, because they never attack. Well, not never, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah, I, I can usually kill them before they do their thing. Yeah. Hopefully. There we go. Oof. That's close. Nice. And that was the first time we fought one without a... A smash attack. Yeah. Alright, let's 
so down, I, down, down, down. I can't go down. Oh, at all? Oh, come on. Invisible wall there. All right, Leave me up. astray, Phil. Then go up. How's it working, man? Let's talk to him. At least I'll know where we are thanks to a map, but I'll... I don't know. We're back there again. Yeah, I can't go down. Okay, go upwards. Like, okay. You know where I'm going? You no, know, to the right. Keep going that way. D. Moonside Museum. You want me to go to the museum? Uh, I don't think you can. Try going in, though. No, you can't. Oh, okay. there you go. Oh, shit, there's enemies here. Okay. There's another guy right there. So we can talk to him, see where that takes us. Maybe outside the museum? Yeah. People don't seem the brightest. Nope. Alright, so talk to this warping guy you'll see outside. Right. Well, he was there last time. There we go. Okay. Holy crap. Yep, yeah, we're into the hospital. I keep getting worried when I hear that sound. Disadvantage of uh, having a teddy bear. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Scares the crap out of you. <laughs> I don't need doctrine. Do I leave? Yeah, I would. Okay. This doesn't really this isn't really giving you anything. It just says each warp band sends me to a different location. So now we're back here. So that's the one I talked to the first time. Yeah. There you go. Right. Try talking to all of them. Let's go back to where we were, the cafe. Talk to one of the warping men there. <laughs> I know, I know, I'm sorry. Because it says, when you make a full circuit of warps and moonsets, your final stop is in a room without doors. So, does that mean we have to talk to every single person who can warp you? Until we can continue? I think there's a sequence you're supposed to go through, but... Uh, well, this is not telling me that. We'll figure it out then. Yeah. So, you put it on auto. It's fine. We're screwed. I killed them. We're dead. We just died. That's what death is like. Yes. Yeah, it's like this one. Guy, yeah. I've talked to him before. Hello. Ben. Goodbye. Okay. Now talk to that one. He sent us back there. That's kind of nice of him. Okay. So now we're back there. Um, try going straight up. So we went around the whole way here. Try just going straight up this way. Okay. See if that's possible. Oh, good. There's no enemies there this time. There they are. One time ain't bad. How's the clock? Is he difficult? Uh, I killed him without him uh, doing it. Oh, time. yeah, but I remember he stops time and he'll just keep attacking you. That's kind of a cool idea. Yeah, um, yeah, I talked to the, that guy. I think I talked to him before. Him, that one? Was it them? Yeah, yeah, true enough. Okay, yeah. so we talked to the bottom one. Well, I'm pretty sure the one that's above him is the one we talked to just before that. Hmm. That's all the warping men that's showing us because the rest are down here that we can't get to. Doug has taken the guy. Doug is... Doing the things he needs to do. Press the, press the buttons. Press the buttons. Alright, so before I do that. Okay. You got it? I have no idea where I want right. to try to go. We'll see if it works. Doug thinks he knows better than me. That's uh, probably true. I do not. Except I have previously established that I am never wrong. That's true, that's very true. So uh, Oh god. <laughs> yeah, try, uh, uh, try to avoid them. Just like you, you go go back. Wow. That, ah. was, that was really good. Because right. we talked to that guy before. 
Yeah, so there's supposed to be somebody that's... This is here, the number one. And it wasn't that guy just to the left, or...? Um... Because I thought it would have meant that other warping guy that we first talked to. But then he didn't send us where we thought we were going to be sent. What is that? Let's try that. Okay. Because that was the first guy we talked to. Yes, yes. Yay! A double burger. Sweet. Healing items. True. That might actually help. <laughs> Oh, try him again. Okay. I assume he's going to send us back to the same spot. Nope, nope, different this time. Sweet. Here we go. Oh, nice. Yeah. Because. Why not? Well. Actually, can I get through here now? We are. No, he's, he's by himself. And then we'll be at the bottom right. There we go. Oh, that's fun. Well, I missed Ness. That's pretty good. Ugh. Oh, okay. Uh, there we go. I do have uh, things that can bring people back from the day. True, but it'd be nice to not have to use them. What's in that? A uh, handbag strap. Ooh, yay. What does that do? You can use it in combat to do basically nothing. Right. There we go. And does that lose the room? Nope. We're up there, though. There we go. That's the last one. And he goes, and he asks you, he asks you if you want to, but you skipped it. Now do it again, and then say new. And this will send us to the room without the doors. Yes, okay, we got it. And there's the guy right there. Give me my guy back. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so powerless without it. There he is. And then um, talk to one of the doors or the the windows, and then you'll be outside. But he'll be with you. I don't know which one to talk to. That's the thing. Or check on. Hmm. Talk to you. There we go. Yeah, see, he's now he's with us. So, as we walk around, he's gonna be saying things like, "Yeah, is it, like he'll be taunting us and saying things like, yeah, he has a unibrow, and how he has a gold tooth." So he's the guy that we're looking for. I am gonna take this opportunity to uh, sleep, though. Yeah, no, I don't blame you. Good. <laughs> so my goodness, do things hurt? $32,000. Very nice. There you go. Yeah, I did it. He's such a creepy guy. So now I just need to get back to one of those actual... Uh, you may as well just use the warping guy. That's what I was going to do. Okay, then. Huzzah. Nope, wrong one. There we go. He got me closer. There we go. Yeah, true. <laughs> there we go. You're the man whose eyebrows are connected to us. A gold tooth. How about we dump these kids and get something to drink? Wow. Wow. And there we go. <laughs> oh. 
Yeah, but say I don't think we're gonna make it because he's gonna go away. Now we're gonna get our clocks cleaned. Oh, I made that joke again. <laughs> yes, you did. So I like he doesn't do a lot of damage, but I like the idea of what he does. There we go. Heal up and let's get ready to fight. The evil money money statue. First time I fought a statue. Hurt my hands. Alright, uh, I will give that to Jeff because I'm not that concerned with Ness. Yeah. If you picked up a super bomb, use it to end the battle quickly. Really? Uh, it would do a lot of damage. Yes. Yeah. I used it back in the, uh, the mall. Oh, okay. Which I think we kind of need to do. Yeah. Well, let's take him out. What can you do? Mephisto likes the mic. I don't think you can hear anything anyways. Is this just in case? Whoa, cool looking. Uh, it's still worth using. But that can stop some of those reflect effects and things. True. Which uh, will ruin your day. If, uh... <laughs> do nothing. Oh, that's cool. You can still use your PSI, though. Yeah. Well, maybe it allowed you to. It was either do nothing or use Psy. He's got nothing. He wants to just attack, I guess. He doesn't have a crazy amount of HP. It's 860, and you're already doing... You know, like, there you go, so... Yeah, it'll be fine. And he doesn't seem to be doing too much to us anyways. Right yeah. now. Yeah, this will be fine. He's not doing anything to like really take us out. Nope, he is really not doing any damage to speak of. We have more than enough PP to keep casting that, so there we go. Yeah. How much HP? Lots of HP? Air experience with? Nice. Yeah, quite a bit. Oof, level 39. Got the new life up. Good. There we go, that is the end of Moonside. And where were we all this time? Just in here. Oh, I thought it was going to be in one of the areas inside the department store, but I guess not. Nope. Uh, we're in the storeroom in the cafe, probably. Yeah. So remember in the very first, I think it was the first or second episode, where it was like, Buzz Buzz says, destroy a shadow of the Nightmare Stone. And I kind of thought that was the Nightmare Stone. Yeah, I think you're probably right. Yeah, this is Apple Kid. I've come with another wacky invention that I think has real potential. Maybe you won't, but anyway, it's called the Gourmet Yogurt Machine. It makes many different flavors of yogurt. The only problem is, right now, I can only make two, a trout-flavored yogurt. So I'm going to have this machine delivered to you via I'm sorry, I'm panting to the cat. It's becoming a neglected class. Hopefully you'll get it soon. Yeah, everything is. And I've got some problems with you, bye-bye. Oh, trout yogurt machine. How wacky. Oh, there's a monkey. Ow. Oh, we're gonna learn to teleport. Good. Can't remember who we've met. Talarama just finished fasting. And now he wants to meet you. At the west end of Dusty Dusty Dune Desert, in a cave with lots of monkeys. I'll use my teleportation too. Bye. To not bring us there with him. Nope. Jeez, everyone wants to talk to us. <laughs> Love that, like, we don't know why we need that yet. Yeah. And that's why, right yeah. here. <laughs> I love how random and, like, yeah. like all these coincidences happen. Anyways, uh, so we know when we need to go next, so I'm Phil. I'm Doug. And we'll meet you there at the monkey place. So yeah, thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe. Check out my other content on my YouTube channel, where you can find Let's Plays, speedruns, and reviews of other games.